Hello the Hive is a new uh, sort of zombie thriller. I guess you could say it's, they said it's like Memento meets The Walking Dead or something. Yeah. Now, how yeah. would you guys describe it? Um, I would describe it as a... From, from my character's perspective, let's say, <laughs> as a camp counselor just trying uh, to have a good summer. Right. That never works out. Haven't you seen Generally, it doesn't work out for, I mean, for, for those kids. Katilian <laughs> um, is saying that. Like, I just wanted to throw out, man. I'm I just, just trying to have a good summer, and the plane crashes, and then oh, we're man. trying to all piece together yeah, an outbreak yeah. of a virus. Um, yeah, I definitely would say so it's a horror it's like thriller. It's zombies, but, you know, it's definitely a virus that has that, the effect of it. Yeah, it takes over <laughs> the, the person that it's infected. Uh, mm. So it works as, like, a host. And... Um, it's uh, it's kind of try it. Uh, if you ever watch Invasion of the Body Snatchers, it's somewhat like that. You know, like it feels like it it knows better uh, how to live for that person than the person does himself because we're led by our desires and everything. So it like is it eliminates that. But I definitely say it's a horror thriller. And when they say memento, it you uh, you start off with Adam, who's one of the camp counselors, who wakes up in this room with no recollection of what's happened, and then kind of in a disjointed way, uh, he slowly uh, figure out figures out what is going on, why he's there, and what this virus is, and what it's done to all of his friends. Now, how did the script read? Because the the film itself is so gooey and gory and disgusting. I mean, was that really laid out in in the? Uh, I mean, I don't think that you can. We're getting into. I think that you can really like imagine <laughs> as much as we experienced. I. Yeah, as as like approaching the script. Uh, for like the actor's perspective, like you just kind of coast through, like oh, and then you're vomiting something, you're like oh, that's nice, and it's black, and it's going like all right, cool, <laughs> that's nice. and then you get on set, and there's hours of makeup and then multiple takes of you spitting <laughs> goo. And so there's different yeah. makeup, some for the walls, some for your actors to put their mouths, some that has yeah. to go in the clothes, some that has My to glow. First... It's a lot of time, but it's it makes the experience very unique to work. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. one way of putting it. <laughs> My first experience, it was like out in like Malibu. And I was like, ooh, Malibu, oh. shooting in Malibu, except for <laughs> You have to um, you have to be in like 50. It was like 50 degree weather at that time, and get this black tar just poured on you continuously for each take. So, oh my God, was it so really that was my first experience with the goo. <laughs> I know it was a little bit of actor abuse. But I'm not gonna say. Yeah, I slipped, I slipped the makeup department some cash, and then they'll help you yeah, out. Yeah, no, but but makeup makeup was really like tentative to like that. That type of stuff. Yeah. So we had wow. a good we had a good crew and cast. yeah. I mean, acting is so much different these days. I mean, I'm sure that uh, Robert De Niro or, or Jack Nicholson or <laughs> Meryl Streep never really quite had to go through this. Now, how how does it? How do you kind of still act and be and you're the character and you're in the moment, but then you're also just covered in goo and you've got contact lenses on and you've got all this um, noise coming at mm. you. Basically, I mean, how do you kind of keep that all, the, all together it's yeah i i mean that's a good question i think the residual effects of the virus are what they are but as a character to give it some heart you have to care for your friends or essentially your girlfriend in the script so a lot of that is coming from that place i think just yeah some, uh, i'm working through that and then like getting the makeup done um uh, the the makeup for for me, it really like informed the character, you know, like I had this idea of the character and that the stuff that I wanted to like play and work with. And then when we sit there and we get all this makeup on, we're like, oh yes, I I have become this okay. this virus. And I mean, um, also my my first time with like full makeup and these contacts that they had hand oh, design. Gosh, those contacts. They, they were cover creepy. your entire <laughs> eye. Yeah and you can't see anything. Oh, no. And my first line is like, <laughs> we see everything. And I was just like, ah, you know, like, so that was, it was a little bit scary at first, but after a while, it like becomes like freeing and just, I mean, you get to like play with your friends, so. Yeah, now how long was this shoot? <laughs> I don't know. I'll, it was like I'll about a month. month. Oh, okay. It was about, it was about a month. It was very like fast paced and, um, 
I, I haven't watched the entire thing because I do want to I want to see it in theaters and get the full experience. Mm -hmm. But a little of it, a, a little of what I saw is just like for having it be so fast paced and doing all the work that we did. We really like we put everything in it, and it, it, from what I've seen, it looks really good. So I'm excited to to see it. Cool. Yeah.